Even now, Terry McAuliffe supports a mandatory renewable portfolio standard, which would force our utility companies to switch from coal and natural gas to wind, solar, and geothermal. This would eliminate thousands of jobs and significantly increase utility bills. That's a job killer. My focus is on creating jobs, and I've never had a business owner come up and say to me, you know, I could create more jobs if you'd just raise my electric bill. Never had. Virginia's a big state, and I've been crossing it for a lot of years. And I've never had a business owner tell me that. In fact, as I've traveled the Commonwealth, not a single person, not a single person has come up to me and said they think that skyrocketing costs associated with eliminating coal makes good economic sense and would create jobs. That's what my opponent has supported. Maybe because it will make money for it, as, again, as Green Tech said. In 2009, uh, Kansas made their voluntary renewable portfolio standard mandatory, and the Kansas Policy Institute estimates that that law will eliminate 12,000 jobs during this decade and increase electricity prices by approximately 45%, costing the average family more than $650 per year in higher electricity bills, to say nothing of what it does to the potential for job creation. Studies of Washington and Oregon's renewable portfolio laws have shown similar results, thousands of lost jobs and higher electricity prices. If Terry thinks that's an example of what he calls periodically fewer and smarter regulations, I don't think Virginia can afford them as governor. I'm 100% in favor of the development of solar, wind, geothermal, and other renewable energy sources. We've got that happening in Virginia in some positive ways. But Terry's green tech failure and Solyndra's failure are stark reminders that government doesn't pick winners. It picks losers at the taxpayer's expense, your expense. Exactly what my opponent will do as governor. We can't abandon coal, oil, nuclear, and natural gas while the private sector works to make the transition to other energy sources and while our universities participate in finding those pathways.